wheel. This video covers removing and replacing the paddle wheel on the Snowy 3000. Welcome to the Snowy instructional video series. Please follow safe practices when working with your machine. Always make sure the power is disconnected before doing any servicing or maintenance. No, Snowy is not liable for any owner or user actions. These videos are provided to illustrate common situations encountered and to offer suggestions and guides. Tools. You will need a rubber mallet or hammer, a short piece of 2x4, and a pair of pliers. Make sure the machine is unplugged. First, remove the ice hopper by removing the three black thumb wing nuts, one each side and one on the back. Carefully lift the ice hopper off the motor cabinet and place it away from the machine. Second, remove the blade housing by removing the four wing nuts and washers and lift the blade housing off the motor cabinet and also place it away from the machine. The paddle wheel has a reverse thread, clockwise to remove, counterclockwise to put it on. Notice the two sets of paddles, one set on the outside ring and another thicker set on the inside. Only strike the heavier paddles on the inside ring. Position the paddle wheel and sharply strike the flat edge of one of the heavier paddles on the inside ring with a clockwise blow using the rubber mallet. If this does not work to release the paddle wheel, an alternate method is to place a short piece of 2x4 low and tight against the thicker paddle on the inside ring and strike the wood with a hammer. You should be able to unscrew the paddle wheel from the motor shaft thread by rotating the paddle wheel clockwise until completely unthreaded. Put the new paddle wheel on the motor shaft threads and hand rotate counterclockwise to tighten. Reassemble the blade housing and ice hopper. Make sure the blade housing is centered and not rubbing. See the Snowy 3000 blade change video for details how to position and secure the blade housing for reassembling the machine. As a quick summary, test for alignment and then secure the wing nuts. Mount the ice hopper, tighten the three black thumb wing nuts, and you are now ready to shave ice with your Snowy 3000. Remember, be safe as you enjoy the best shaved ice snow available. Please look at the other instructional videos or the Snowy website for additional information and helps. Thank you.